morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. You know, I'm down here, San Diego Sport Fishing Landings. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. A lot's changed since last Sunday. We have the hurricane, Hurricane Hillary came through and it really mixed up the water and turned it up and got it all cold and dirty on the inshore game as far as it goes for La Jolla and the Nine Mile Bank, those inner banks. Uh, that area was really, really uh, cold and dirty. I went out surfing on Tuesday and then Friday, yesterday morning, I gave it a shot, launched the solo skiff uh, from La Jolla and went out there, just caught one calico on the knife jig, that was about it. Saw Rick and Everett Freedom Boat Club out there, so that was awesome, running into them and all of you amazing, awesome people. Uh, thank you so much for all the love and support that I get. I'm trying to get around to replying to more comments and uh, interacting more with you awesome viewers. So trying to stay busy and keep my fish in, but also uh, show my love back to all you awesome people that have shown your love to me. And in addition, I'm announcing Big announcement, I got Solo Skiffs, California Skiffs. Started a company, Solo Skiff dealer for California. So hit me up, californiaskiffs at gmail.com. Let me know if you're interested, if you wanna get a Solo Skiff, I got one for you and we'll make it happen. Make your dreams come true with fishing on the Solo Skiff just like they've come true for me. So I'm super stoked on that. Like I said, give me an email, California Skiffs at gmail.com and we'll talk about getting you a, a brand new uh, solo skiff. So as far as the offshore fishing game, I've been looking at the numbers through the weeks and the offshore boats, the longer range, day and a half, up to you know two, three day boats. They're going out Tanner Bank, they're still getting the bluefin tuna. And then it looked like the full day boats are on the Dorado and some yellowfin and some bluefin also but the inshore game hasn't been as good as earlier in the year but there's still fish out there and it seems like tanner bank's still the hot spot so let's get over and check out the fish at the landings if you haven't already smash that subscribe pound that like show love and support thank you all for the love and support i'm living the dream fishing all the time thinking about taking a trip up to norcal uh, to go see my family got uh, my new nephew that just was born the other night so baby Hugo, come and come and see you up in NorCal. Let's go over to the landings and see the fish. Fortune, Condor, Intrepid's going out. I was just talking to a guy who was on the Tomahawk. Rough trip, they had a hunter bluefin the day before. They went to the same zone and he said that they only got six. So that's fishing, that's how it goes sometimes. They got a bunch of fish all laid out here at Fisherman's Landing. Let's see what boat that was fortunes here Pacific Queen this is probably Pacific Queen beautiful morning at the tops yep loaded there it is this Pacific Queen yeah <laughs> as usual jeez Yep, and then Gary. How much do those weigh? 150? Well over 100, right? I'd say well over 100. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible, man. I like Right on. Solo Good skiffs. getting that. Yeah. What's up, Gary? What's up? <laughs> Always killing it. Every hey. time I see you down here. Eight pound test line. Eight pound test. Hey, you got the yellow on the eight pound Over test. 25, yeah. Over 25 <laughs> on eight pound test line. Is this your haul right here? That is my side, my limit. How many day trip was it? Uh, three. All, all on the jigs, of course, all right? Jigs, all jigs. On your, on yeah, what kind of jigs do you, boys. on the Nature Boys? Yeah. yeah. Check it out. Even all my yellow tail. Nature Boys. Eight pound test. Wait, oh, that was, wait, so you put the the jig on the eight pound I'm test. Around, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say, what's the point of that? 
Nature Boy Jigs. Gary's just killing it as usual, the Slayer. Wow. Not all the all nighttime fish? Huh? Oh, daytime. Oh, on the jig on the daytime? Oh, yeah. Out at Tan. At Tanner? What size jigs were working the best? Did it matter? Well, nighttime because the weather was so bad. Winds were. Oh, really gnarly? So 500 gram jigs in the wind? And then also three. Yeah, this was two. How many times do you hook up? Like, Have you, all you more than our limits, but that's what. No, no, no. But you yourself, did you land all your fish oh, yeah. uh, that you hooked up to? Yeah, no, you we didn't. missed a lot. Yeah, we yeah. Missed a lot of good ones. I mean, I lost a good one during the day, probably like around 60, somewhere around there. You know, we, during the daytime we had some monsters, really good. Ones. <laughs> been, You've been going out on the jet ski? Well, Have I you got in Hawaii? But not here? Not here because, no, I just can't. Now it never really has timed out, huh? Did you yeah, get anything in Hawaii? You didn't see my, what do you call it? Oh, let me show you. I got Wahoo, I got Ahi, I got. Let me show you this. What island? Wahoo. Dang, that's my dream fish right there, the Wahoo. How much yeah. is that one? 40? 50? Yeah, like that on the, all on the ski, man. All on, on the, the troll? No, jigs. Hey, you oh, all need troll. Yeah. <laughs> troll. <laughs> Gary, don't troll. Oh, <laughs> right on, Gary. Jeez. There you got it, Pacific Queen. They bite day or night. Jigs, Gary. Jigs only. Abel, oh, there's one. One lone Dorado. Fifty pounds. Right. Fifty. Sixty. Fifty-eight. See what this one's. Seventy-five. Ninety-two. Jackpot fish right here. Let's see what it weighs. One twenty-two. Nice fish, though. Jeez. That, without the guts in it, right? Yeah. So you added ten, twelve percent on the jig that came on the jig or on the bait. You guys killed it. How many times you hooked up? But yeah, I mean, you hooked up six times and landed six fish, and then you called it. You didn't keep fishing after that. <laughs> no, it's a lot pulling on those fish. Great job, man. Guys, Pacific Queen here destroyed them. Okay, so there you got it at Fisherman's Landing. Pacific Queen coming in with limits. A lot of them on the jig. Daytime and nighttime, gnarly winds, so you got to use some heavy jigs. So Gary was saying, let's check out the counts. All he got online is just fortune return limits of bluefin, 108 up to 180 pounds. Liberty yesterday, Dorado 100, 17 yellowfin, tomahawk two bluefin and four yellowtail, Pacific Dawn one yellowfin one bluefin. Okay, next up we got H&M landing. 
Legend. Legends. They're always killing it. Looks like they got limits. Legend right here. H and M landing. They got YouTube channel legend, so you can check out the report from the trip on their YouTube channel. Captain Steve right there. We killed it. <laughs> Man, you guys, you guys killed it, huh? Oh, Limits? Yeah. Yeah. How long of a day trip was it? It was a uh, three-day uh, private on the uh, Legend. Yeah, yeah, that's I knew it was on the Legend. Yeah, it was a, a like private the, charter. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a Joe Charter. Mine's right here, no. Nice. Joe Charter. Excellent. Best trip I was ever on. Yeah, you lucked it out. You can't, you know, you just gotta get lucky, right boat, right place, right time, and tuna, enjoy it. But three small tuna and then a yellow tail that was bigger than the tuna, so I'm. <laughs> yeah, that was your first tunas? No, 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 no. I've been on a bunch of. But, but uh, you haven't gone on them like that. Not like this was. Not like this was. This is. I mean, all day we're biting all day and all night. It was really like two stops and we stopped at this one stop at night and it was bedlam. It was hundred pounders all over the place. It was fantastic. Everybody got everything all cut up. I wish we didn't. It was three day trip, you said? Yeah, yeah. We left on Thursday, we got back now. <laughs> oh, Jay, you guys got a lot of fish, huh? Yeah. Oh my that's yeah, awful H. <laughs> Live hey, it. Yeah, you hey, too. Angelo's great job. <laughs> nice job. On the legend, killing it. There you have it. Legend got limits. Some nice fish, nice size. Not as big as the Pacific Queens, but three day limits. A lot of fish. So if you can make it out there, battle the winds. All right, here's H&M landing fish count. Grande overnight, 48 Dorado. Limits, three yellowtail. Full day, Malahini, 58 Dorado, four yellowtail. Yellowfin, 12 Dorado. Puts log abound in the distance. At Point Loma Sport Fishing offloading right now. We'll go check them out next. Over at Point Loma. All right, we're at Point Loma Sport Fishing now. Vagabond. Coming in with their fish. Big one. Big dog. Tail, a couple of Dorado in there. There's Dodo. Bluefin, lots of bluefin. Keep coming. How many day trip was this? Do you know how many days? Three day trip? A little everything, huh? Yeah. 
on the little one. Yeah, the Dorado, and then even some small tunas yellow on the kelp patty yellow. and yellowtail, and then nighttime bluefin, time tuna, one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there was a lot of wind, huh? 400, 500 grams. Yeah, jigs. <laughs> How many times you hooked up? I didn't hook the big one. No. My friend did. Pulled his ass overboard. And we got it up <laughs> and then we have to scream when it's Did he land it? No, it's not. Oh, no. This is the number one blogger in San Diego. How are you doing, Mike? Good. How are you? Were you on the trip? Yeah. I, How'd I, you do? I've been contacting you. Fort Wayne, Indiana. I flew in. Nice. I've been with those guys. And uh, we caught, I think, limits. Did you hear? I mean, everybody. It, it looked like... Um, I, I don't. I didn't see the count. What you guys got numbers wise, but it looks like you guys got we limits. Got over yeah. Uh, three day. Trip. Three day trip. How many times did you hook up? Four times. Did you, how many times? How many did you land? Three. Oh, he was telling me about you hooked up on a big no, one. Not him. Oh, that was. <laughs> yeah. He said he almost pulled him into the water. <laughs> he got pinned to the rail. He couldn't budge, and then the thing, and he just about went over. Yeah, like yep, coming in from in Indiana. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get some of that fam famous San Diego bluefin tuna fishing haul huh? that you've seen on YouTube. I, exactly. What? <laughs> I even gave you a remark one time when I said you were on a boat and said, "Is that Mikey?" I said, "Don't you understand?" It? Said, that, <laughs> but only you do. I said, "That's course, that's Mike." <laughs> you too. Good job. Uh, no, and maybe Wednesday with Nam Freedom Boat Club. We'll see. And then I want to go up north and see. I got a new nephew up north, so travel right with the solo skip. Maybe get a tail end of rockfish and uh, try to get another bluefin off the skip. We'll see. Possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching. Keep doing. <laughs> right on. There you go. That's the big one. So he's the expert. He's the hardcore guy. That's a butterball. Yeah, right here, this one. What, one, 150? What do you think? Dang beast. It's a big yellow tail. Oh yeah, we gotta compare them. Come on. Let's see what we got. That one's a big, that's over 30 pounds, huh? <laughs> He's just got him by a little bit. <laughs> just by a little. That's got to be 30 pounds, huh? At least that one, yeah. Beauty. So there you have it at Point Loma Sport Fishing. Vagabond coming in with limits on a three day trip. Limits of bluefin with some yellow tail. They had a nice grade yellow tail too. Some yellow tail and a little bit of small Dorado. Point Loma sport fishing here. New Low Ann's coming in. We'll see what's good with New Low Ann. So there you have it. That's gonna do it. That's it. That's all for today's fish report. Went down there and saw Pacific Queen coming in with limits and a lot of big fish. Gary, who I've seen down there before, Nature Boys jigs just killed it. He even got one on the eight pound test, 25 pound yellowtail on the eight pound test with the jig on it. He said they were biting daytime and nighttime, but it was real windy, so you had to use a heavy jig to drop down in those winds. 
and then cruised over to H&M Landing and saw uh, Legend coming in with limits over there. They had a bunch of fish and then same thing I heard, they were biting daytime, they got on one school at the nighttime, just killed it, Vagabond. They had limits of bluefin with some yellowtail and some dorado mixed in. So fishing offshore is just going strong right now. Get out there if you can and be prepared for anything and everything ready to go. Thank you all for watching, following along in this beautiful journey of life. Mikey, SD Fishing Sips, signing off with your Southern California Sport Fishing Report. One love, fish hard, troll hard. Yoop.